Hi guys, this is Jack, and I am here with five tough vocabulary words that you may see on the SAT or ACT, and likely the PSAT, GRE, GMAT, and yada yada yada. Okay, um, these five words will be taught through the power of our Brainy Picks flashcards, um, which are just flashcards with a supposedly or a uh, what's supposed to be a memorable image as a visual cue to help you remember. And my phone is ringing. Hold on. Hello. Sorry about that. All right. Mm -mm. So the five words that you are going to learn today are cajole, illicit, pacify, presumptuous, and punctilious. The first word cajole. Verb, it means to impose on or dupe by flattering speech. So to trick somebody with your words. And we have the following brainy pick. I cajoled my brother to dance on stage at an amusement park by complimenting his dancing and promising no one he knew would ever see him or know about it. But we all know about it. We see him. Ha ha ha. All right, the next word is illicit. It's an adjective, it means illegal, so the ill is it, and the ill eagle, maybe that's a, uh, a good way to remember it. And the brainy pick we have, the sentence reads, it should be illicit to earn this much money in an economical downfall. That should be economic downfall, we'll, we'll let it slide. I know, it would be nice if uh, that guy could share some of his money, but I guess good for him, right? The next word is pacify, verb, to bring into a peaceful state, to appease, calm. And the sentence reads, Tom, after fighting with his wife, tried yoga to pacify his mind. Fighting with the ladies, it does, it does get the mind all messed up. We have the word presumptuous, adjective, means assuming too much in a rude way. And we have Crasher Squirrel, crashing a ultrasound. Sentence reads, presumptuous? Me? Nah, just visiting your baby in the womb. I'm not intruding, right little guy? Right little guy? And finally, we have the word punctilious adge adjective. I'm gonna say adjective. And it means very attentive to following rules. I am punctilious about keeping my desk clean and clear of garbage, but I guess not so much when it comes to graffiti. I don't know who wrote that, but some people are punctilious about some things and not punctilious about others. Alright, so uh, those are five tough words. I believe those awesome flashcards, Brainy Picks, have, uh, Brainy Picks flashcards have helped you remember them burn them into your mind. Um, if, uh, oh, 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 what do I want to say? Oh yeah, those are the users of the, the people who created those five flashcards. They, uh, they actually now qualify to compete for our $200 grand prize. Um, and you can compete too by creating uh, Brainy Picks. So every week up till uh, December 7th, we'll pick our five favorite every week. Those five will make it to our final round of judging, uh, and each of them will also win an iTunes song. Uh, and if, say, you participate but we don't pick you, that's okay. You just keep participating or keep trying. And if, by great unfortune, uh, we don't end up picking you, um, you still get to come away with some iTunes, because for every five Brainy Picks you create, we will give you an iTunes song. Um, assuming your Brainy Picks are not grammatically horrendous or... They're like reasonable. All right, um, that is all. Good luck, guys.